five unexpected things you must keep in mind if you are to study biotechnology. Number one, it's not going to be easy, okay? You must keep that in mind that it's not going to be easy. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be impossible. So why is it not going to be easy? Because biotechnology is a mixture of so many different things, okay? It's like a little bit of everything, like chemistry, technology, everything. It's a mixture of many different subjects, but it's going to be very interesting, believe me. Like the things that you learn as a student of biotechnology are really interesting, okay? But you have to be a science guy for that. And what do I mean by that? That you must be a person that loves many other disciplines, different sciences, okay? If you don't love chemistry, if you don't love technology, if you don't love biology, then it's not for you. Number two, there's going to be more chemistry than anything else in your biotechnology degree. But you might ask, why is that? Like there is bio in the name of this degree course, like biotechnology, there is no mention of chemistry. Yes, there is a little bit of biology. But as biotechnologists, you'll be engineers, you'll be engineering life. But you can't engineer life without understanding the chemistry of it. So that's why there's going to be more chemistry than anything else. Well, basically it's biochemistry. So there's, you'll be facing more chemistry than anything else. And if you don't like chemistry, then it'll be not easy for you to complete your degree course or to work as a biotechnologist. Number three biotechnology is evolving and it's evolving really fast so if you're a biotechnologist you must be a disciplined person and you, if you don't have the discipline you must be able to develop discipline doesn't matter if you're a student or if you work in a research lab if you're a biotechnologist you must be disciplined you must do your things on time like if you're a student of biotechnology so the structure of your biotechnology degree is made up in a way that it changes really quickly. Like the things that you do in one semester are totally different or mostly different, like 70 to 80% different than the next one and the next one and the next one, okay? So the things that you face as a student in biotechnology, they're really different from one another. So it really helps if you do your things on time. And if you're a researcher in a lab and you have an idea, then you must be able to execute your plans or experiments on that idea. That means if you have an idea, just prove it or disprove it, like do something about it, okay? Because there's papers being developed every day in the field. It's actually because of the evolution in the field since the discovery of CRISPR. After the discovery of CRISPR, the focus of scientists really shifted to the field. So that's why more and more people and companies are getting involved in the field. So that's why you need to be quick. And also the introduction of nanotechnology in biotechnology helped shift the focus to the field, like bio nanotechnology or nanobiotechnology. So you shouldn't be lazy. You should be active and you should be disciplined enough to do your things on time. Number four, there's going to be more practical work. If you're a biotech student, Depending on which country and which university you're in, you'll be doing more practical work in the lab because that's what biotechnologists do. Biotechnologists are scientists, they're researchers. Depending on which company you go for work, okay, you'll either be doing some research, like some innovative things. If you're doing like production in that company, it also involves lab work, okay? And if you're doing quality control, it also involves lab works, those analytical processes that you learn during your studies that will help you, okay, in that company. So that's all to biotechnology. Like at the end of the day, you go to a lab and you work, you research. Number five, any preparation that you do before you get into your bachelor's degree will help you immensely. I mean, like, investing resources in your studies before you start your degree. And what do I mean by investing resources? It could be like investing your money. It could be investing your, um, like buying new products, investing products. It's also money, but you know, you buy stuff with your money in that case. 
and it could be also most importantly i mean the best thing that you can invest in your studies is your time if you talk about time the best thing to do is to work at a company before you start your studies that will give you a better idea of how biotechnology market work like what do people do as biotechnologists in a company so what you can do is go work as a trainee or do an internship at a company it doesn't have to be a high profile company just any company will do and if you talk about the financial aspect of it it will be a lot easier for you if you have like i mean if you have like your four years of studies planned financially that means you have either a stable income like either your parents support you for uh, four years at least and if you're about to support yourself financially in my opinion then you should work for at least six months or a year okay to collect some money you should have some money in the bank because during your studies sometimes it's really hard to work and study at the same time i mean i have worked okay i've been working for years so it has been not easy it has been difficult so it's a lot easier if you have some financial insurance or some money laying in the bank and you'll be also needing some basic stuff for your studies the most important tech piece that you'll be needing as biotechnologists is your computer okay so it's better if you have a nice computer that doesn't hang you know that isn't that slow that is that works properly so that's it those were the five points in my view that you have to keep in mind if you're about to start your studies in biotechnology so to sum up there are five unexpected things that you should keep in mind if you're about to start your studies in biotechnology so number one it's not going to be easy but it's going to be very interesting okay number two there is more chemistry than anything else in biotechnology number three biotechnology is evolving and changing really fast so you have to be disciplined and on point to execute your things on time don't delay them okay don't procrastinate number four there's going to be more practical work than you might think number five any investments in your studies before you start your bachelor's degree is really going to be great and keep in mind do your research okay do your research like search on the internet there's like a lot of information on the topic ask students ask questions online ask people on reddit ask people on facebook you can also ask me just write your question on comment section i'll get to you the point is don't shy out okay just ask questions get as much information as you can but anyway that was it for today i hope this video helped you a little bit and if it did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we'll be promoting biotechnology through this channel i'm just doing my part by making videos on youtube and promoting the field after all, it's all about biotechnology for us.